So behind me is the valley. The different colors in the rocks indicate different temperatures of the year. We decided after a lot, or for me, a lot of different research uh, for today's adventures because it's going to be a nice day, it's going to be in the 60s and sunny, that we go out east, um, eastern Oregon to the Peanut Hills. We picked up our sandwiches, now we're hopping on the road to head out to the Peanut Hills. So we stopped in the Ochico National Forest for lunch, so we have this nice, beautiful big field behind us. And I'm really excited to try these sandwiches. We've been wanting to try for a really long time. We just have never been. I got the Simple Tom, which I think was a turkey and provolone sandwich. And then you got the Albuquerque. Mine is a like a BLTA with some modifications. But they do have gluten-free bread, which is really nice. Moment of truth. Mmm, so good. We're at the lookout spot at Painted Hills, so the lookout is the first thing you're going to hit as you go up the road to the trailheads. One thing to note is the road is all gravel and dirt. So depending on the time of year and the road conditions, um, just keep that in mind with the vehicle you choose to bring out here. Enjoying the beautiful views of the Painted Hills. This is the top part of the lookout, so behind me is the valley down there. After this trail, I'd highly suggest following the dirt road to the boardwalks. The different colors in the rocks indicate different temperatures of the year. So the red rocks means that there was a year that was very warm and then the yellow rock was formed from years that was much cooler. Colors also come from the rust. There's a kind of very iron heavy all volcanic ash that fell on this area and that caused the colors to change. Plus the colors also change when there's a rainstorm this area has all sorts of lavenders and purples, which is really cool. And apparently that color comes from an actual lava flow. 